Welcome to El Tiempo, News in English. A group of 15 people went to see the mayor of Bogotá and had a long conversation with Gustavo Petro. In a meeting, they made known their feelings to the district authorities about the problems that generated the blockade in Transmillennium. In the meeting, the district acknowledged that certain flaws were occurring in the Transmillennium service, and for this reason, the users' committee would be created so that they themselves can monitor the system and the complaints so to improve the service. An unfortunate situation was created by the blockade, according to protesters. For example, there was a disabled person laying on the road between the protesters and the bus, and he was trying to get inside the bus. And that is very bad. That must not happen again, said this protester. After an hour meeting headed by the mayor of Bogotá, Gustavo Petro, an agreement was reached. Through a decree, the district will call for the Transmillennium Users Committee to be created. And through this, they will have social control of the service and how to improve it. These committees will collect complaints of users in different locations where the Transmillennium operates. We in the district are worried about multiple complaints that we have received, and for this reason we have taken the decision to undertake quality control of the service. One of the protesters said that what they have been requesting is the community participation in decisions about the model of mobility in the city of Bogotá. Although they don't rule out more blockades, the district believes that this kind of protest will soon disappear with the creation of the users' committees. The secretary for local government said that the idea and rights about people attending and causing damage to the Transmillennium service is totally wrong in a democratic system. Here there is a government for dialogue, the doors are open for dialogue and there is no need for these acts of violence. This new decree will be issued next week. This is Ashley Huxley-Cobillos reporting for Tempo News.